Meghan Markle here. Today is um, February 3rd, 2023. It is 4 a.m. exactly. I am very upset because I just did an hour and 14 minutes of recording and then when I went to start editing it, the sound was completely off and I know the sound was on when I was recording, but it did not record. So I'm going straight to Twitter. Let's get going. It's really hard for me to do the second round because I've already said what I wanted to say on the first recording. This is why I'm usually pissed off when I have to do it over again. So this tweet I came across while I was trying to put uh, a list together for you guys. And um, I didn't know. So Bouzier posted this, or should I say retweeted this. Usually announcements like this are made months in advance, not days. All right, so he retweeted uh, a Twitter, I guess, dev, who's dev? I don't know, whoever is working on Twitter. Okay, starting February 9th, we will no longer support free access to the Twitter API, both V2 and V1.1. A paid basic tier will be available instead. Okay, so the squad already leaving Twitter. Um, they are on what was the name uh spotable or something like that so um twitter is done pretty much once you start paying for it people are gonna leave because bazir i think he has let me see if i see it here because some of the squads already uh putting their um already putting their things out their uh how do you call this uh their profile on spotable all right. Okay. So these are new. I, I want to focus on my list. Okay. Let me, oh my God, too many things going on. That's that. Okay. Starting February 9th, people are jumping board. And I think on Monday, I'm going to sign up for uh, Spotable uh, on Bazir's page. Okay. A lot of the squads already left. They already telling each other what's their profile name and all of that. I guarantee you Twitter is done. Okay. Because if they think they're going to raise revenue like that, and how are they gonna they might yes they might make money for they will make money but the people who uh attract the advertisers okay people like me or you know young people whoever they are okay they're gonna leave they're not gonna want to pay for that so these are the eyes they want to attract so these people are leaving okay so let's go to the next tweet now i have two tweets regarding andrew prince andrew will hit Virginia Garfrey with a $100 million defamation lawsuit. Okay, will. Okay, he didn't do it yet, but he will. From what I've heard so far is that Virginia Garfrey signed a multi-million dollar deal for a book. All right, so I'm assuming this is a threat. Who knows if Virginia knows her truth and I don't know why did he pay uh, Virginia, what, how much was it? 12 or $16 million? uh to take that lawsuit away i don't know he's just giving himself problem let's read some of the comments and then move to the next one that also related to prince andrew no harry and megan to hide this mess behind popcorn anyone let's hope she hasn't kept a sample of his dna okay the doj cia and the fbi needs to get involved in this case we know that the british nobility class is trying to do with this situation yeah one of the things i've said prior on PYTE, especially when they were getting out of Brexit. They, the British people, uh, whoever is running the country, wants to have control of the court system. So one of these, I don't know where he's filing it, if it's in the UK or, or in the US, I, I doubt it will be in the US because, uh, but anyway, they want to have control of the court system. I've said this a very long time ago, including when it come with the uh, Twitter thing too. I remember saying a while back, 
that uh, Harry and Meghan needs to create their own social platform because the way that I was seeing things going on is just that the British royal family narrative is not penetrating to people's mind. The way that they wanted things to be taken, their blueprint is not being accepted. Okay, so I'm sort of making reference to the previous tweet and that tweet as well. Okay, for this tweet, it has to do with the court system. The UK got out of Brexit to have control of the court system because they've done a lot of things worldwide. Okay, you see some of the Epstein people were being arrested left and right and there's Prince Andrew and all of that. So they know they are in a lot of mess. And also from the previous tweet with Bozite is that they try to uh, cover up the mind, you know, with the tabloid, with all of that. It's not working. Okay, so this is one of the reasons I think I, I don't have proof of that. So I'm not going to say it. I think it has some connection with the UK tabloid. Okay, or it could be in the US as well because a lot of their nonsense is not penetrating to. Okay, the way that they were going about the 2020, uh, 2022 election, midterm election, it then goes as accordingly. So they rather mess up everything. So what's going to happen here is that majority of the uh, squads are going to go on spotable and then we just stay in our little bubble and share information the same way we do on Twitter. We grab screenshot from someplace else, bring it, and then we discuss it. All right? So this is the blueprint now with the squad. We don't need them, but they need us. That's the thing here. Okay. Um, let's see here. Back to the Andrew thing. The DOJ, CIA, and the FBI needs to get involved in this case. We know what the British mobility class is trying to do with this situation. Okay. Andrew is going to subject himself to discovery, including deposition. I find that hard to believe. Uh, that's why he, they say will be. Maybe it's a scare tactic for uh, Virginia Goffrey not to write the book. All right. I mean, if she was scared, I think she would have stopped a long time ago because the length that Andrew went to stop her from continuing with the lawsuit where he had to pay for her to stop it. Okay. And then the worst thing is, I don't think Andrew has a good lawyer because if you're paying $2 million for her to stop the lawsuit, there should be some sort of a NDA or some sort of a thing to say, maybe they did. And she said, no, I'm not going to do it. Or she's continue with the lawsuit. I don't know, but I don't know. All right. That I can't wait to see. Virginia is Joy, the one who will have to be depos about her depravities. That'll be Andy. I am so excited. This just might be the final nail in the coffin of that despicable institution. Okay, I knew it. It was all about her not writing her book, not sure this scare tactic will work. Did he forget that he paid her $12 million, basically admitting his crime? And then he was involved on so many things on this channel. You have, I, I have a couple of videos explaining how, uh, he got involved for the, uh, was it 2009, uh, agreement that Virginia Goffrey had with Epstein. How did he know about it? And he was all into Epstein plea deal and, and Florida and all of that. So he, I don't know. If he bring it, like some of the squad said, get the popcorn because there's going to be a lot of questions he needs to answer. All right? After this, that's it. I really hope he does this because he will be interesting to listen to when he gives his side of the story. More, I don't know her and I don't sweat. Okay, Virginia has repeatedly said in legal deposition and sworn affidavit that she was trafficked to Andrew and sexually abused by him. Meanwhile, Andrew decided to settle the, the moment the judge scheduled a deposition requiring him to be cross-examined under oath. <laughs> I'm telling you, he tried his best to stop that until they weren't buying his thing, uh, his nonsense. Not gonna work. He already paid her means what she said was true. Okay. I hope he does and loses big time. Let his brother's reign be more with his candle. Okay. Wait a minute. Then he pay her off to avoid a trial. Look like that trial and the U.S. needs to happen after all. All right. So that will have to be a different thing because they closed that and they settle. So they can't reopen that and she can't if she doesn't want to return the money, you know, you can undo all of this mess that just happened. Next tweet, 
again with Andrew. If the Warhol family is telling Prince Andrew that working for charities is how he can repair his reputation, that tells you exactly what they think about charity work. It's not to serve those in need, but something they do to serve themselves. <laughs> That's a good question. Okay, they don't do anything. They show up for photo apps. They don't bring anything. <laughs> Let's not forget the smile. I'm sorry we can only come and give words and comfort, but we're, we are thinking about you the whole time and we really care about what's going on. So Sometimes it does more than financial. Yeah. Well, if we can give you a little smile here and there, that's important. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they don't give them money it's not work to get dressed and show up to have your picture taken okay there's that uh, i can't agree more it, it makes them look like working like how is that working absolutely spot on noblesse oblige okay most insightful not far off being 100 percent correct all right next tweet now i'm done with the andrew thing now we're going to megan I cannot believe an hour and 14 minutes just wasted. I have to get rid of the video because I can't even hear my voiceover. Next tweet. All right, so I started with this, but I saw it very last minute when I was putting the list together. So this seems like it's a party that uh, Ellen DeGeneres and her wife put together and then Harry and Megan were there okay so that's the premises the beginning of that okay cute you can see harry and megan here at ellen and portia's vow renewal okay it's six seconds there's just clapping and stuff okay that's it it's just six seconds all right so now they take some still images they said this is megan but it may not be her it may not be her all right so that's that and they claim this is harry i don't know it could be it could not be but the pictures are very blurry okay there's that i don't know it's very hard to see very hard to see all right let's see here three comment under it okay she's wearing a dark green dress standing behind ellen's mom wearing a red cardigan sitting in a chair megan seen here covering her mouth from her surprise reaction i see harry but not megan which one is she okay she just explained let's go to the main one all right commercial. i'm telling you twitter's trying to uh make some money here because almost every post there's a whole bunch of commercials okay who posts this did anyone there approve or know there be broadcast attending? I wasn't invited, so I should not be able to see it in my opinion. This doesn't seem a public announcement. Okay, this was posted by Ellen. Okay, so I don't know. I don't follow Ellen, so I don't know. Some people said that video was much longer. The voice at the beginning of that particular long video is, <laughs> they claim it was Harry's voice. That's cool by me then. Do they not very clear? Yeah, the picture is not very clear. D sorry this is the video quality uploaded they probably did that on purpose they probably did that on purpose okay british media watching the clip to find megan because they have been very active wanting to see megan all right so with that comment let's go to the next tweet let's hope i could cut it because i had an hour and 14 minutes let's see if i could cut it short all right next tweet now i have this twice now that i know um, this is something the squad put <laughs> because throughout the week, the British media were, well, were posting or uh, doing articles, where's Megan, this and that. So one of the squad decided to put this <laughs> clip together. It's two different clips, but the way they did it, I'm telling you, the squad are very skillful and it, it takes a lot of time. That little thing takes a lot of time because that video where Megan is, is a complete different video from the one in the car the lady in the background it's two different videos but they put it together where they remove the background where megan was and then they overlay it over that other video it's two different things i'm telling you this takes a lot of time because the movement of megan you have to crop is every little second this alone might take two hours to do if i'm telling you squaddies have to be dedicated to be doing all of this to make us laugh and pop to whoever did it okay where's megan marco meanwhile in montecito there's that <laughs> there's a music behind it as it i think is uh let me play it really quickly
that okay <laughs> the squad or something okay uh can i just say we've come so far as a squad there's a laugh haven't seen her since november and we're just drinking water and minding our business back in 2020 by now we will have had a scammer a fake baby or 100 hour space yep this is the thing here now when twitter start paying um charging people to be on twitter what's gonna happen here is that the squad are just gonna move on spotable and then we do our own little conversation that's the thing here okay so i don't know maybe i could still come on twitter i don't know if it's you pay per post i very rarely post i just go over things very rarely post and sometimes retweet things that meaningful or something like that so twitter is gonna lose a lot of money they're gonna regret that they did that all right can i just say we've okay i just read that why did i laugh at this so hard there's a laugh also knowing kisha Mulder been like man man <laughs> I ain't no, okay. I ain't no. It was you, girl. Holla at my mess, Harry, and stay safe, boo boo. Okay, there's that. Okay, commercial here. Laughing my ass off. Sussex Squad or something. Wow, 8,459 people saw it, and 15 people like it. I hope our girls is chilling on a warm beach with a cold drink and her hot husband. They deserve to kick back and enjoy the fruit of their labor. Salty Island is on a full blown meltdown. I love this yeah they are i don't know i didn't i don't know if i share all of them most likely not because they were meaningless but i tried to focus on things that sort of meaningful there were screenshot the squad were bringing from different tabloid where's megan megan this megan that yeah so looking at this commercial here 202.3 thousand people saw it now once the squad leave they're not gonna have that many views okay even though i don't click on it or whatever it's how many people who see it now once the squad move to the other platform less eyes gonna see it they're gonna lose either way all right let's go to the next tweet still focusing on megan oh my god i'm still pissed that first recording did not work all right there's the squad making fun of uh the, the tabloid in the uk asking where megan was all right this is vanessa nobody absolutely no one squaddies there's megan look at her shadow <laughs> i love us <laughs> look at this we start from the background harry's giggle it's harry harry is there the heavy giggle kill me squaddies are the best detective yep i think they're making reference to that video of ellen okay harry's laugh cause ears to perk up and the hunt began <laughs> there's that the squad are investigating <laughs> looking on their phone where's harry <laughs> there's that gif okay allow us to dream i can't even lol there's this seriously a two second scan of the crowd and that video and they found and paused on megan and harry how just amazing i love all of it and now it's all over the media that they were there there's the laugh um the searching here detective stalker mode on <laughs> okay true lol all right so let's move on to the next one the next one is commercial next one there's this i follow megan marco for seven years before she met harry this timeline of her doesn't look fair you can see why uk want to destroy megan marco's character they won't show her uso tour un women rwanda india was on the time cover redman judge on kid cook shows etc it's why trolls call her z listed all right so i didn't know it was the the tabloid in the uk who posted this this but the only thing i said on my previous recording is that i mean they could pick and choose it would it's a bit unfair where they don't show everything that she does if they're gonna talk about her resume but uh, if whatever they post is true okay they could pick and choose but they <laughs> this is what's killing them this is what's killing them and this is why they're trying to destroy as much social media platform as possible especially on twitter because this is where the things the uh, announcement people are talking among each other and all of that so they don't want people to know her true all the thing that she's been doing and then the other thing is that they can't mind their own business if they just mind their own business meaning the 
whatever is happening on Salty Island and they focus on their work, they don't have to worry about Megan or Harry and whatever. Throughout the week, they were asking, where's Megan, where's Megan? Meaning like the tabloid, they posting, providing articles, where's my, uh, where she is, where is that, whatever. All right, now she's at a, she's at a party, a six second home video. Okay, they pause it to show people that she is. I, I mean, I don't know, what's wrong with these people? And also, this is what's good with the squad. Many of us have different interests, different knowledge about Megan and Harry. Some of us, when we come across some of these misrepresentation of either Harry or Megan, some of us have time to fix it. This is the problem they are having because many of the squad, when they come across something that is uh, falsely reported like this one they then put the correct information or they delete or they fail to add all right so some of them come and fix it so this is the problem they cannot move forward with their agenda because there's always one of the squads who's fixing it or making it aware this information is wrong okay i hope i explain my uh, thought correctly it's almost like they know the fire is hot but yet they're touching the fire uh, Megan is minding her own business, enjoying a get together with friends or whatever, neighbors, but they still, mm, but anyway, let's see here. Okay, at Daily Express UK, if you want public to know Megan Markle's real career timeline, then you better get a professional writer with highly skilled than the one you printed here. Ya took out her humanitarian, philanthropic, and activist work. No wonder Ya only call her a zealous actress. Okay, with that, if you go on Pure YTE, I have a video where I, um, at the time when they were saying she's not an A-list actress or all of that, I did a video uh, saying why she's not an A-list actr uh, actress. But if the title might be dece uh, deceptive, but when you l watch the video, you will understand. I'm telling you, YouTube gave me a hard time with a lot of the clips that I put. So that should tell you something, okay? Because pedophile all sort of things uh abuse and hollywood and all of that so i sort of highlight it okay so go watch it whatever i wasn't able um i was able to leave in terms of clips um i hope it shows my point of view okay i'm not sure this is their correct twitter handle okay who is that mm, i don't know i don't follow any of them okay i got my verification code on spot and confirm still cannot access uh, so spot off. What's the problem? This is the Bozier um, platform that most of the squad are turning into. So once I get mine, that's where I will be showing you some of the things that the squad are talking about. And if I come across other places, I haven't been on, what is it, on uh, on Facebook and many other platforms because I just don't like them. I remember someone else had that same problem as you, but they were told if that happened, then refresh the page and it might work. Have you tried refresh the page? If not, please try try again, then refresh. Okay, so that's that. Let's move on to the next tweet. Okay, let's see here. Okay, let's read that. Being a woman of color, the media will diminish her accomplishment. They did the same thing with the Obamas. This type of behavior is something black people have had to deal with for so many decades. Yet, we are still told white supremacy is something of the past. Okay, they fear Megan. She is changing the world. She has the ability to drive intelligence and skill set to bring about unity between nation. Mark your calendars. That's the thing that's scaring them because they, these people, who, you know, the position that they are in, they only th uh, thrive or be able in that position that they are in because the lower class are fighting among themselves. So they want, they do not want unity. When people are fighting among themselves, they become richer, they prosper, they could do as they please. They could just walk and grab what they need and step out. Okay. So this is not working for them. And this, the same blueprint with the media, the tabloid and all of that, it's not working for them. So they are pissed. So majority, especially Twitter, Okay, they want to destroy Twitter. They create different platform for them people to go. But guess what? When there's no eyeballs, there's no people commu um, communicating on those platform. How are you gonna make money? How are you gonna be succeed? Succeed. So this is why they bought Twitter. One of the reasons. There's many more. 
how will I say that? It started for something else. Nobody's saying it yet, but it started with the Johnny Depp Amber Heard. I'm just going to say that part with the Johnny Depp Amber Heard kind of debacle. And then it spent into something else and then they're trying to capitalize on it. Now it's completely, it's completely different. Johnny Depp has nothing to do with that, but it's during that debacle, something evolved around it and then it spent into something else and now they're trying to capitalize on it. And then at the same time, because so many people are communicating, uh, information is passing on, their BS is not uh sticking you know i'm telling you they throw all sort of things nobody's buying it so twitter is a place that has a lot of people um but they're trying to grab those people now they're telling people you who are on twitter you're gonna have to pay to be on it so guess what people are leaving now they're gonna go someplace else now the squad who usually bring information onto twitter guess what their information is not gonna carry over the commercials and all of that is not going to be prosper on Twitter anymore because many of us are moving along. Uh, we shall see. I hope I explained my uh, thought clearly. But um, yeah, that might be the end of Twitter though. Once you start making people pay for it. Uh, the problem with uh, Elon Musk, he bought it too uh, for too much money. Now he's trying to make, uh, I guess, uh, how do you call this income investment profit that's the word profit he's trying to make a profit off of it he bought it too much too expensive all right next week just dying to see what outfit she's got on at ellen DeGeneres. please share photos we want to see eh, not really so this from that blurry six second video this is what they got of megan they paused there to get a picture of her no we aren't dying to see what she has on kate will wear it the next time Audi. okay that's the lie that's for sure me too but then again let's hope the copy kate of well doesn't see this and copy her oh they have people all over looking for what make it i mean they have no shame they have absolutely no shame if we don't keep up with their nonsense they're lucky i'm not into fashion but in the future if nobody debunk their nonsense with the clothing or whatever they will not be in an instant change the narrative and say it was her meaning kate who wear the clothes first and then megan copy they won't they have no shame they'll be more than happy to say that but they don't want who's copying okay whatever is there there's the laugh that's for sure me too but then again let's hope the copy kate wells doesn't see this and copy her you know it once she said she's gonna copy it there's a laugh kitty is cranking hard to copy the outfit there's that this one all right so the squad are putting different uh, images there's more i saw it but it's not worth sharing let's move on okay it's 4 30 already all right next to it i'm happy for Portia and ellen but them that means our faves were in the same room as chris jenner now, one of the things that I said on my previous recording is that I don't understand why so many people dislike the Kardashian. things people want so that's that let's look at those images all right there's tmz here exclusive prince harry megan marco watch ellen and Portia renew vow at store studded birthday party so at first in my first recording i was a little bit confused was it a uh, uh, renewing vow or birthday but it seems like from after seeing other things it seems like it was a birthday party and then in that birthday party one of them surprised the other to renew their vow that's what i got okay so let's see here there's heavy there and this picture yes it does look like heavy and here megan cover her mouth but you could sort of make out the shape of her body and what's really nice about that is that they mango onto with it you know they spread out they're not right next to each other or something they conjugating kind of thing okay there's harry there's megan cute and the crowd there's that let's see here the devil works hard but chris jenner works harder again i don't understand why many people don't like her 
I, I don't know. There must have been something that she did that people don't like her. But if it comes to business-wise, I applaud her. I wish I had the same drive, the same energy, the same ambition as her. But I don't. So I can't hate on her. Okay? So it must have been Portia who surprised Ellen. Because look at her face here. She looks surprised. She didn't know. Uh, right? At least their love keeps going. Okay, Ellen the Generous and Portia the Vossi renewed their wedding vow. They say I do as Chris Jenner is officiating. I didn't know she could do that. Okay, after tying the knots 15 years ago. Okay, February 2023. So their love is still there. That's good for her. Happy for them. All right, let's read some of the comments. Okay, she's annoying to me too, but the saltiness the British media feels after seeing all their snub stories collapse make me feel better. <laughs> Again, I can't hate on Chris. I'm sorry, Squires. I don't know for me to hate. Okay, me thinks the picture shows Harry and Meghan are not joined at the hip. Harry, okay, has is socializing on one side of the room and Meg is on the other. All right. Ew, shorters. I mean, I get invited, the Duke and Duchess, but why the heck did she invite Chris? I mean, again, it's not you. It's their thing. I don't know. I can't stand her. This is the thing I keep on seeing. I don't know why they don't like Chris Jenner. I really don't know. She's like the American version of Carol Middleton. Now, those two should hang out. I will not compare Chris Jenner with Carol Middleton uh, because... Uh, Chris Jenner make her kids be self-sufficient. Meanwhile, from due to the tabloid, it seems like the other one made her be a social climber. Okay, so that's that. Portia was such a drab, dead, gorgeous bombshell. Very different from the androgynous self-represented here. Okay, that was my thought to run. Okay, I wasn't gonna say anything. I wasn't. I know. And you know, Chris is gonna be using that as clout. Okay. I don't know. This, well, I don't have cable to know a lot of other things, but I don't know for me to judge. Okay, I was just thinking the same thing. I had the same thought. Ew, I do not like that woman. Okay, so they're talking about Chris Jenner. I don't know what she did that makes so people dislike her. I don't know. Next tweet. Okay, Harry unbothered enjoying California. There's Harry there. Okay, there's this. Was this a Porsche birthday party? Okay, this is where I was starting to... Oh, they removed that. Sure, this, you know. Okay, never mind. Before, I think I saw it. Okay, wait. I think I just saw. There's Megan here. Okay, there's the look. I was watching the moment Portia surprised Ellen with the vow renewal at her birthday. But then notice has, is this the same day? Okay, Harry is home sweet home. Home is wherever you feel safe and comfortable. Okay, as he should. Alright, so let's go to the next tweet. Okay, there's that. Imagine a whole headline is about Harry and Meghan being at someone's party. There's People magazine. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry join Jennifer Aniston and Katy Perry at Ellen and Portia's vow renewal. Okay, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex made a rare outing following the release of Prince Harry's memoir, joining Courtney Cox, Orlando Bloom, Gwyneth Paltrow, and more for the surprise ceremony. One of the things that I said in my previous recording is that, uh, was it, Harry went to Courtney Cox's house way before she met uh, Meghan. So, and he was mesmerized, I think the bathroom or something of her house that it could close and open by, by itself or something like that. And looking at the prints, you would thought he will already know about that. But but when you look at the docuseries and other things, you see how they treated him. You'll be like, okay. Okay, this is a classic example of denial. They know that Harry and Meghan is the only people relevant, but they kept lying to themselves. Otherwise, they will have nothing to say because the others are boring and copying repeat is boring. Alright, let's see here. I can't believe the level of my own obsession, but then has hang out with Courtney Cox years ago. Yeah, I think it was a birthday party. Uh, some party, I don't know. Let's read this. Let's see what they say here. Okay, he went to a party at her house and did a mushroom. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. Harry had already uh, had friends uh, in the U.S., so that's why he's more comfortable here. Okay, the obsession about irrelevant worlds, these people have no shame. Okay, why even use anyone else's name? 
it was not even an outing these reporters are ridiculous okay how ridiculous those reporters are it is not an outing sort of informal gathering this is why i was starting to see that i think it was a party and then it turned into the vow and i think ellen was surprised by it all right next tweet there's that i just tweeted oh this one is kind of funny the squad or something <laughs> all right i just tweeted quote i miss you wifey and quote and we immediately see megan i knew she heard me <laughs> all right so there's that and uh it seems like all of the guests were surprised as well they came for a party but it turned into the vow renewing vow okay but let's wait it's get funny as uh you start seeing the gif and images babes harry was there too <laughs> there it is okay i only saw megan <laughs> there's that here this is where it started to get funny i, I can't with you <laughs> it's the back and forth that got me laughing okay I, I hope you see it the same way that i see it too there's harry here i can't with you there's the laugh <laughs> responding on images and gif there's this <laughs> the squad or something and responded with that and then <laughs> the squad or something let's go into it there's the i'm telling you the squad or something the squad of freaking ridiculous <laughs> is the back and forth they're literally responding back and no words just images the squad are crazy <laughs> i'm telling you no words just the image it's hilarious which one is she okay this one is funny as well if you can find megan then i can help you all i see is her okay i can find her there's the skull i will type well one of these days all right there's this <laughs> Let's spray each other. <laughs> okay, lol. It's not my fault. She is so beautiful and nice. There's this. You know, Harry was there too. <laughs> There's that. Okay, oh my god. I had no idea. <laughs> What's this form and where can I find info? All right, so there's that. Let's move on. It's the back and forth with the squad that got me cracking. All right, I thought that was funny. Okay, with just images, no words. All right, next tweet. For years, we heard stories and stories from royal experts and the British media about Harry and Meghan popularity. Aren't they tired? We know the polls is fake. The polls use around 2,000 private voters, but we don't know who they are. But we know that they use these voters to shape Harry and Meghan popularity. Mm. This is the thing. It's not working for them. They're trying as much as they can. Their message is not getting across okay speaking on the daily express royal roundup palmer said quote the duke and duchess of sussex were loved by the hollywood elites when they first visited quote a lot of people on the liberal left especially in the performing arts but into their account of being victim of bullying racism he said palmer said megan and harry still have some support but their victim narrative has put some off palmer said megan and harry still have some support but their victim narrative has put some off he said they are definitely some who still support him but others have become bored Quote, I think his popularity has been hurt by his inability to step up and talk about something different, added the royal representative. I don't know. This is just to please the royal family, okay? They, I don't freaking understand them. They know it's their buddies who's putting nonsense on the tabloid. But for some reason, I'm talking about the royal family in the UK, but they eat, breathe, and believe the nonsense that their bodies are putting out there which they already know it's false i don't understand that i really don't understand it so this is something for them to feel to make them feel better in my humble opinion harry and megan don't care about that really about popularity what they care about is when they put their work out okay like the docu series the spare they make their money okay that's all let's see it sound like he went to a mega rally to run the poll there's a bowling eye yeah okay i don't think harry cares if he's popular or not he's living his life yep that's for sure desperation running high with these people i think so too at some of this comment i don't think i saw i think i did next tweet oh my god i would have been already in the middle of editing 
okay I still can't get over William and Kate thinking Megan was a quote out of line and quote for hugging them, not curtsying to them, not sharing lipstick or joking sympathetically about baby brain. <laughs> the baby brain always get me. Okay, honestly, it reeks of entitlement and elitist and so I'm not surprised they didn't like Megan. But the thing I don't get is that Kate, who grew up outside of the institution, to feel like she's entitled of that. But, okay does she feel like if she okay if kate feel like megan should bow down to her does she feel like her sister and uh her brother-in-law from the sister side okay not harry but the uh, people's husband should bow down to her does she feel the same way my goodness let's read here to be honest, I'm not a hugger, only close family or friends, so I understand that part of it. However, I would have been polite. Okay, she treated them like family and they wanted her to know she was their subject. That's another point here. They felt she should have known to bow. They're horrible racist snobs. Okay, yeah, I have to be super careful about the hugging strangers. I'm a hugger and I try to suss it out before I do that. But that's with strangers. If I'm meeting family, I'm diving in. I'm not really a, a, a hugger. They wanted Megan to cut it to them. Yeah, that's that. All right, yeah, and the part where he told Megan how to curtsy to Charles, but not Camilla. Royalists lost their mind over that. Hey, <laughs> I, I don't think Harry has any respect for Camilla. And with a husband who was... Having a relationship with somebody else? Was a husband who loves someone else, yes. It was already difficult, but it became increasingly difficult. <laughs> I, I don't think Harry has any respect for Camilla. Do you think Mrs Parker Bowles was a factor in the breakdown of your marriage? Well, there were three of us in this marriage, so it was a bit crowded. <laughs> Okay, it does kind of boggling to mind, doesn't it? You have a new future sister-in-law you've never met and your first thought is to be offended that she didn't bow down to you. That takes a special type of narcissistic entitlement you don't see much of. It's over the top even for a royal. And the thing is, I don't understand. She is a freaking uh, commoner. I don't know. I don't know the titles over there, but commoner. And from what I've read, her husband makes sure she knows she's a commoner. But what did she expect? They had in in their minds to put her in her place. Probably. Okay, it reeks of white mediocrity. Whenever I see them, I glean that they're not comfortable in their own skin and Megan made them feel even more destabilized. She was uh, everything that they've been told they're superior to blackness entertainer American, but <laughs> she outshined the white. Yep. That's a very good point here. It wasn't a formal meeting. So what the F will she have to courtesy to William and Kate in the first place? That's another thing. And the thing that I brought out on my previous recording as well. When, uh, when they do Christmas get together, you see kids with suit and tie and proper, uh, you know, shoe wear and stuff like that. It's so freaking uncomfortable. Uh, you think you'll be relaxing and you know, you do your thing and all of that. But if you have to still be in a freaking setting, you know, there's this and that, like to be in a formal setting, even when you're with family, it's not comfortable. So I'm glad they left. I'm glad they left. I even said in previous videos, I don't see how people will be comfortable around these people. Okay. The cutscene thing is super weird to me because if you look at when they visit the charities, the general public don't curtsy. Even at the food bank visit, nobody curtsies. It feels, it feels very much like a story uh, of their, okay, of they wanted Megan to know her place. Could be. There's that. I wonder about the last time uh, they broke when. <laughs> I wonder about the last time they broke when it sounds like it's all very right down there. <laughs> Let's go to the next tweet. The squad or something. The squad or something. Next tweet. Okay. As Prince Harry and Princess Meghan keep telling us, the tabloid create the news and nobody can tell themselves a royal expert. Tabloid lie about Harry and Meghan being snubbed by Oprah and Christopher Anderson making up shit to embiggen the racist royal family. All right, you could pause this. I'll read that. No, Meghan Markle wasn't snubbed from Oprah's birthday party. All right, so there's that. You could read it. Pause and read. And I was looking at this picture earlier. It seems like this, this looked like Heidi Klum. 
I think this is one of the Kardashian. This is Jennifer Lopez. This is uh, Oprah Winfrey. This look like Kim Kardashian. That's uh, uh, Oprah's Gail King. Okay. Uh, is she uh, Priyanka Chopra? Now I just realized it could be her. But then again, I could be wrong. All right. This look like uh, one of the Kardashian's daughters. The model. And that's Chris Jenner. I don't know who she is. This could easily be Lady Gaga, but I could be wrong. Uh, I don't know about the rest. But one of the things that I say is that, from my understanding, this is uh, like a a biz. Let's read it. Okay, celebrity celebrating this quarter of century with the woman who supported us from the beginning was nothing short of magical we look forward to the next 25 years okay so i think it's a company or something makeup or whatever but the thing that i said is that these people have a major following so by inviting them and them sharing that on their social platform it's almost like a promotion okay that's the way that i saw that Who's that? Anastasia Beverly Hill. So I don't know why. She wait. Wow, 19.2 million followers. They have. Okay. And then, can you imagine? Each of these have different followers. So that's a lot of expo uh, exposures. Okay. So that's that. That's what I got from it. I don't follow them. So that's what I got from it. Okay. Yeah. I was confused about the story. All the attendees were posting on IG and tagging ABH. Who is Anastasia? I think that's the name. Why? ABH. 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 Before. Okay. Anastasia Beverly Hill. Okay. So before when I read it, I didn't know. So now I, it caught my attention. Okay. All the attendees were posting on IG and tagging ABH okay anastasia beverly hill the the media knew it was not oprah's birthday party okay that was not a birthday party anastasia beverly hill was celebrating okay that's where i got the information anastasia beverly hill was celebrating her cosmetic company anniversary brit rags a fox news or unhinged stalking liars okay so because of that they thought that uh megan was snubbed but does megan have to be on everything my goodness okay i love the self-importance of the monarchy implied by megan and harry's first thought about oprah's party is that uh, it's a glitzy celeb feel and so close to the coronation might look bad if they went to oprah thing uh said so they have better things to do than obsess about the uk the real true story always come out in the end i don't know these people have no shame okay while chris jenner was at both the oprah and the ellen birthday party event god i love myself <laughs> not g-i-f correct anastasia knew it was oprah's birthday and she had a cake for her no snubbing going on there was no way oprah will have a birthday party and not have blacks there okay uh, i don't know next tweet okay i'm almost done <sighs> i'm still pissed the first one then um we could okay british tabloid yesterday harry and megan snubbed by celebrity friend hollywood does not do drama there's that british tabloid tomorrow harry and megan hang out with rich and powerful celebrity friend they are to hollywood <laughs> these people okay i know right so true spot on they have boxed harry and megan and themselves into this narrative of them if you do and them if you don't uk media does not know how to backtrack there's the laugh nailed it there's the laugh okay hollywood does not do drama there's the laugh spot on all right let's see here yeah as we told in french they no longer know on which feet to dance it's a double standard all right let's go to the next tweet it's almost five okay megan marco told the future king of england to get his finger out of her face and you know what i can't help but to love this woman more and more all right so there's me here he asked for that embarrassment. He can't seem to mind his own business. Mm hmm Because I know the story behind the finger pointing. Okay, we should all tell this so-called future king to get out of our faces generally, especially people of color and the commonwealth. We are the majority after all. That will be powerful. He's become used to sticking his finger in people's face. Well, this won't allow it to happen. So as soon as it started, okay, Megan told him, don't do that to me. All right, so that's that and then he's really pissed about that 
because he never got anybody uh, reprimanded him. So the last time he got probably get reprimanded was from Princess Diana with that spanking in his ass. He deserved it. Okay, he would have been missing a digit if it was me. Okay, love me again. Me too. It's amazing what happens when you have uh, ounce of self respect. That's for sure. Can somebody make a t shirt? Okay, I love that. She just thought of him as her brother in law. I have done the same. No one gets to wag their fingers in my face. Okay, that is so. And this is the thing when that the same thing with Harry, who you know, during the discussion on spare, when Harry was uh, explaining something was misunderstood, but Harry raised his voice on Megan, and Megan got out of that space. Okay, went and then come back for like 15 minutes and Harry went to look for her and find out she was in distress of the way he spoke to her and Megan told her right there if you want to raise a family don't talk to me like that I mean I'm paraphrasing now you could just go read the book or listen to the audio because when Megan asked Harry have you know you've seen people like that talk around you and he said yes and Megan was like I'm not putting up with this if you want to raise a family I want something different hey he had to change all right <laughs> so <laughs> to think about it now I didn't think of it before Megan put both brothers in their place <laughs> if William know better he better change because he's gonna lose that kingdom okay me too it's amazing what happened when you have an ounce of self-respect can somebody make a t-shirt i love that she just thought of him as a brother-in-law and have done the same okay i'd have done the same no one get to wag their finger in my face okay that is who william is a bully a woman abuser he suffered from a low self-esteem proof of all this is in the open just pay attention mm -hmm. okay love her uh, love her is easy because she's beautiful uh do be do do be do okay king of england what do you know and where you are from okay william fear megan i think so too this is just added yep three minutes ago because i didn't see that before yep yeah william fears megan it's why he begged harry to not tell megan i also believe that as well yes Okay, but that also exposed an abusive person doing bad, then immediately asked that it kept quiet. Yep, yeah, I think uh, uh, William uh, is afraid of Megan. Yep, that is true because nobody have ever spoke to him like that. Okay, he learned to speak to people any way he wants, but when he faces Megan, Megan put him in his place, so he fears her. All right, next tweet. All right quote megan you're a good one ride or die because get somebody else to do it all right let's listen that's a tiktok one harry and megan on netflix i watched it and i was tripped the hell out because we all saw their story on oprah or whatever the clips whatever you want to call it and i didn't care i didn't care but when i saw this i was like oh Hey, they coming from Megan's neck, yo. Her whole neck. Thing that tripped me out the most was when they announced that they were dating, or the paparazzi found out they were dating. They took it overboard. Okay. When I the when I first listened to this, and I was thinking, I don't think she's a squatty. It's probably one of the residual people. When I say residual, people who's not paying attention to the royal family or Megan or Harry or whatever, but they know they exist, okay? The same way they first got me. But because of the nonsense the tabloid were making, caught people's attention and pushed them to watch some of the documentary. So I think she's one of those type of people. Like for instance, when I talk about, I don't think uh, Harry and Megan do promotional thing for their work. They just drop it and let it go as it please. And then afterward, after they drop it, maybe a week later, they do promotion to capture some of these people like her, who's not paying attention to come and watch. This is what I think. Okay. I don't think she's a squatty, but because of the UK tabloid, it forces her to watch the documentary. All right. So let's finish this. British paparazzi. They were at her house 12 a.m. in Canada, bribing her neighbors to turn their security cameras to her house to record they were stalking this lady and yeah. her mama they were going to her job bribing the um, the people there to get the set list See, 
And this is the thing with Harry and Meghan because they have a lot of followers and people who truly believe on their cause and the thing that they went through. This is why they don't need to pay, uh, spend a lot of money for promotional because you got people like her and my channel and other people who believe in them to spread their message. All right. See when she was filming, like y'all doing too much. Another thing that took me out was the reference picture of Archie looking like a chimp. Okay. No, the hell y'all didn't. A chimp. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look where I paused it. But this is where I think she's not a squatty because she would have known if she was a squatty. Alright? So this is one of those residual people who caught up. Okay? Who caught up with the message what Harry and Megan have gone through. Chimp? A chimp. Megan, you a good one. A ride or die child because get somebody else to do it. Because ain't no way. Ain't no way I would have stuck around for that. You see? Harry. I've even said that before too. Megan is a special kind for Harry, and Harry knows it. This is why he's making sure to protect her because no one will put up with this nonsense. And the UK tabloid and the royal family knows that too. But what really, uh, what they underestimate is the love they have for each other. But what helped them to capture that love is because during their courtship they kept it a secret nobody knew so that time they got to know each other from whatever level they were able to capture each other so they understand each other from that level so this is the bond nobody will ever break they will not break it because they caught that love ship uh whatever that bond when nobody knew for anybody to intercept to interrupt that okay even harry was saying when certain things popped up the tabloid said he had to confront megan and ask was this true okay so this is the level of easiness he wanted to make sure that what they're saying about her is it true okay i mean you could understand him to make sure because the tabloid were trying to destroy them meanwhile i said there's no perfect human being i think megan close come close to be a perfect human being because when you look at her past things that happened and all of that she come close as being perfect okay so let's read some of the comment great comment also i like her and she is so pretty okay yes baby girl they did archie like that and then understand why the dude uh that did it should be fired should be fired okay there's this um uh delighted to see that more people eyes are opening to the relentless unwanted unwarranted and hellish torment that Meghan Markle suffer at the hands of the British media and the royal family thanks to the Harry and Meghan's Netflix docuseries yep that's another thing let's go to the next tweet this is why I like the squad is I'm not on TikTok but they'll bring the good things on Twitter so now the <laughs> we're gonna jump to um uh, was it Sp Spotify oh I forgot the name of Boozy's uh platform so I need to capture all of the squaddies all right um the narrative around megan is baffling contradictory they tell us she is a nobody a z-lister of no consequence on the other hand the royal family is a mighty a thousand plus year old institution that is ordained by god no less how then oh for whoever's new on my other channel i have a video where i have the uk fly uk flag i think i call it the firm Okay, I sort of explained this thing here. And in that video, I think one of the squaddies wrote an article. Was it before? No, it's different. Because I think I did my video first. And then a couple weeks later, one of the squaddies wrote an article. And that made reference to, to that. Okay, so that's two different things. All right. Uh, a thousand euro plus uh, institution that is ordained by God, no less. How then can she be a threat to bring down the mighty monarchy? hey they're making megan more powerful each and every day why are they talking about a nobody daily she's married to a no consequences faith and line <laughs> when i first read it i had to think why is it faith and i forgot the queen the queen died because i always thought six and line six and line but the queen died okay why do they speak of them daily and seem affected by them being alive exactly the panic around the impact the absence or presence will have on the 
uh, clown nation is <laughs> laughable clown nation literally clown nation is laughable the only weapon the royal family has left is title stripping and even that threat uh, has one thing yeah now we know heavy had already said they could take it but they don't want to take it okay plus anytime they get an award they accuse the same nobody zealister of no consequence of paying off the award givers make that make sense okay she's not a threat they are using fear to create hate for megan that's true so powerful that she can single-handedly bring down a thousand thousand year monarchy while being irrelevant but also overshadowing everything the royal family do with her mere presence lol her power i don't get the she thought she was going to be queen she knew she wasn't she knew who she married she was just being her awesome self not trying to upstage anyone okay that's a good question exactly uh, oh good so let me read everything megan triggered all the racist emotions the royal family have toward black and biracial people much more than that it triggered many in the uk who were claiming there was no racism in the uk royal family showed the commonwealth that their archaic views on ethnicity had not changed that mask slip yeah they forgot if you look at on my pure yte some of the thumbnails i put tunnel vision uh the laser focus all of this they forgot the ripple effect because they were so freaking focused on megan only they were focused on trying to destroy megan but they don't they forgot to see the ripple effect of their behavior their action and all of that and they're destroying themselves okay there's that that's nothing but reverse psychology all right next tweet all right they should have known that i mean i guess all this had to play with the tabloid because the nonsense is not working all right this is my last tweet before the prayer okay obsessed hubby every detail about his beautiful wife excites and matters to this british prince very few men do stand to watch their wives being fully dressed good old prince harry yep look at him the phone in his pocket mm -mm -mm. and one of the thing i realized in this here you know they're gonna go out there is a performance look how upright megan stands her posture her shoulders okay this every time you see megan out okay like on a uh, formal event just look at her posture because she is good at composing herself very well okay look at her posture it seems like there's a mirror somewhere here she's looking at herself composing herself how she's gonna walk and everything like that okay uh shoulders up right you know look at her all right that's one thing i remember saying on the first video and then this is what i said when i first come across this picture all right he knew his wife was about to slay so he's observing the process after the slaying she was going to reunite it with her with their little munchkins that's archie and lily but i be them the helpers got in the way after the event because i know for a fact lol they were going to give each other something something for the world if you don't know you don't know okay so there's uh, a gif i put you know i know okay and then i came back a couple hours later i say helpers i don't know uh, could be the designer i don't know but the service got in the way lol my antenna said so <laughs> okay there's me coming back again uh my 100 plus time looking at this tweet 110 times this came to mind laughing my ass off kate thought megan marco wanted her designer's contact laughing my ass off look at her damn it <laughs> her posture is set to go five people like that all right there's this after what's here that's set okay i love this about him he knows how lucky he is when necessary she's blowing us away formally then wash the makeup off and out come the short and bare feet she absolutely can adjust seamlessly seamlessly from from harry to spike because she's the same way i just love them yeah there's one video i remember saying you know there's megan she's a um i think i call her a valley girl in that very video i remember saying she's a valley girl she's happy go lucky one minute you know you could see her being professional and next thing she's giggling and do all of those things and i think this is the thing that attract harry okay long long will their love story continue 
may God continue to bless them. Okay, reminds me of the clip where he's asking the camera guy, Kofi, he's getting the best shot of her being dressed in the red evening gown. Oh, Harry. <laughs> Is that the one in the Netflix docuseries where it's like there's someone under his wife dress or something? They were fixing uh, Megan to go to the, I think, uh, the Intrepid or something, that long red dress. Okay, <laughs> when they ask, uh, Megan, are you proud of your husband? Okay, leading to that. <laughs> she is so beautiful. If I was Harry, I would act the same. Okay, possibly he watched his mother being attended to by dressers. Uh, why he always seems so amazed that she actually chose him. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, what, can you imagine the way he explained his love for his wife by looking at the IG cam, um, picture? My goodness, he was getting into Megan's soul on that picture. Uh, I remember hollering at the TV when she sauntered into that church and this garment, she looked spectacular. Okay, also lovely. Like I have said repeatedly, having Megan have defined what true love is about. Those who can't love mistake it for, for someone being clingy, but as a wife of over 20 years, I prefer a clingy hubby to a chi uh, chidi one. That's for sure. All right. So there's more, but I need to move on. I already passed an hour. Let's do the squad prayer. I'm sorry if I didn't read this. Okay. I, I'm recording this twice. Okay. The second time is harder because the first time around, I put my soul in it. In it. All right. So this is a squad prayer and that's the one I'm going to keep. All right. Prayer for has Meg, Archie, Lily, and Miss Doria. Lord, we pray for peace and prosperity to Harry, Megan, Archie, Lily, Miss Doria, and everything they own. Please bless their supporters. Bring relief to those in distress. Keep Harry, Megan, Archie, Lily, and uh, Miss Doria safe, guided by your spirit and victorious. And Jesus, we pray. Amen. So this is uh, when they were at the jubilee and they made the little party for lily and look at archie sitting very nicely probably uh kind of mesmerized by the other attendee because uh he's not i guess familiar with them and he's sitting very nicely but next thing you know from the doctor series he's on the table <laughs> because they call him to come and help blow the uh the birthday cake uh 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 so cute okay Peace and prosperity to you, your family, and everything you own. 1 Samuel 25, 6. All right? So that's it. All right. Hallelujah. Amen. God is good. Amen. Amen. There's more, but let's move on. Okay? That's it. Please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share. If you want to support this channel, there's a PayPal link and a Cash App link in the description. You could donate. Those who have donated, thank you. And uh, we'll see how next week is when it comes to creating videos. All right, because I'm not on the Bozier platform yet, but that's where I will be once um, Twitter, I guess you have to pay for Twitter, and I'll be out of there. All right, so that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you for your support. We ask for forgiveness and uh, and please come back.
find the love and happiness that I'd hoped for all my life. You are all in this together.